floss too welcome back to my channel my name is robin and this is my channel lady robins and i'm also lady robins on instagram if you want to follow me in two places i am happy to be back with you it is floss tube number 61 and today is the 26th of january 2021 if you're new to my channel Thank you for subscribing. I am thrilled to have you here. If you're just taking a peek to see if I'm your cup of tea, I hope I am. We're gonna talk about cross stitch. That's what this channel is all about. To my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. I understand I did take a, an extra week off between filming. Things happened. There was, there was just life. Life happened. My parents needed way more help last week than than normal. So I had to take a little extra time to get them righted and back on their way again. So help the parents. They're fine. For a moment we didn't think they were fine. <laughs> My dad declared that he was having chest pains which of course throws everybody into a whirl. He's fine. They think it's probably angina or acid reflux. So we we we're we're working we're working that through it's it's not as big of a deal as it sounded like at noon on a tuesday noon on a tuesday yeah it was it was not good we ended up in the er they decided we think that maybe they were trying to find him a room in the er to do some tests they've done they did some tests then they decided they needed you know him to sit in the waiting room and they told him they were looking for a room my dad freaked out thought they were gonna admit him for all i know maybe that's what they were gonna do all i know is my dad wandered through the hospital until he found somebody in an office with a phone that would let him use it and he called me and said come pick me up because of course they wouldn't let me stay anyway it um it turned into a great big huge deal i went down there to pick him up and did not understand again because you can't go in and you can't really ask somebody questions in the middle of COVID. i'm not blaming anybody do not take this as blaming i'm just updating you on what happened anyway dad was sitting out front he was sitting on the concrete barrier i pulled up he got in the car we got him home and then when we got him home, he rolled up his sleeve and there was an IV sitting in his arm. That's when I freaked out. Yep. Because then I had to remove it or take him back. Life with the elderly is not easy. If you are dealing with elderly parents that have Alzheimer's and dementia, you have my sympathy. I get it. I 100% get it. Anyway, in the end, I got the IV out. He did follow up with his physician. Again, they don't think it was any sort of heart attack. They were able to do EKG and blood tests. It looks like it's either angina or um, an acid reflux type thing. They're going to check on that in a couple of weeks. Anyway, my week was crazy. By the time I got everything calmed down, I got myself calmed down, there was no way I could film a floss tube. <laughs> and I just thought, we're just gonna have an extra long one the next week. So, extra long floss tube, get a beverage. Pause me right here if you need to. Go scurry and get a beverage because we have stuff to discuss and it's gonna be great. Okay, so mug of the day right oh the sun just came came through i saw i saw my camera change sorry about that guys um our mug of the day we are in sydney australia great place i i went there when i worked for northwest airlines it was one of my favorite trips so i always have great memories of sydney in my mug is coffee with just swirled up coffee, so it kind of looks like a latte. That's what I got. So, let's have a beverage. 
All right, we have got more stitching than I know what to do with. So, which is not a problem. Let me tell you, I do not think this is a problem. I have three FFOs to show you. One, no, no, no. Three FOs, one FFO, and then of course, I've got my whips that I stitched on. So we have got two weeks of stuff to catch up on. Hope you're here for it because I'm going to show it all to you. And then I have a shocking amount of haul. I actually am slightly embarrassed with how much haul there is, but I'm going to show it anyway. All right. What do you want to start with? Did I hear you want to see some, you want to see an FFO? Me too. I want to show you an FFO. So, um, this is Barbie Petal Pusher. This is her fresh picked pumpkin chart. I finished it a couple of months ago. My husband made me the frame and then he um, stained it this weekend. And so I pinned my piece to my foam core. There's a little bit of batting um, attached to the foam core. And then I haven't finished off the back. I haven't put the hanger on it. And then I just taped the living daylights out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it's um it's it's the double-sided stitchery tape which is acid free so it's safe for your stitching and if I ever decide that I need it to be a little bit bigger I did not chop any of the extra fabric off so I can I can remat it and give it more more space if I want to so this is my FFO I did not I did not change one single color. I think that Barbie Petal Pusher is a genius with colors. I I've got to tell you I just love her choice of colors. Everything about her color choices are spot on in my book. So, no changes here. I did everything that she suggested on her chart and I'm trying to remember, I think, I think I got the pattern, I think I bought the pattern at my local LNS, but I think you can also download it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she has an Etsy. If she has an Etsy, I will link it in the show notes below, but I think she has an Etsy. I think. Don't quote me. I'll put it in the show notes. I shouldn't say these things without checking first, right? Yeah. Note to self, Robin. <laughs> okay, so here is, here is where we started. Here is our FFO. Super, super stoked. And my husband said, well, that's so cute. We just need to find a place for it all year long. He doesn't think it needs to go into the, the seasonal bin. That's, that's quite a compliment, don't you think? All right, so... The next bunch of things I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you my, the things I finished. Many, like I said, I've got three finishes. You guys, who am I? <laughs> I had so many things that were close to a finish, it was ridiculous, which actually means because of that, I need to update. This is my WhipGo board. I need to update my WhipGo. Um, what's really cool is I finished off my three goals for January whip go. So, um, my goals were five days of stitching on cinnamon stars, which I did. I wanted to finish cozy into winter by Jeanette Douglas, which I did. And I wanted to start the Huckleberry Farm by Jeanette at the Blue Flower, which I did. So I have completed all of my WIPCO goals for January and that feels, that feels like a major win because normally I'll get started and then, you know, things will happen. My motivation will peter out. Not this, not this month. I'm, I'm here for the January. I did the January. I just checked Facebook before I started videoing 
and they haven't pulled the February numbers yet. I'm I'm kind of excited. All right, so let's look at let's look at some stitching. I am reaching over here. So let's start with um, let's start with Jeanette Douglas. Let's start with Cozy into Winter, shall we? So this was this was my um, my finish on Cozy into Winter. And if I'm not mistaken, I did say I was going to turn this into a pillow, which I am. And I think on my last floss tube, I said I was going to go over to my mom's house and see if she had some Christmas fabric, which she did. But I just never got to the finish the pillow stage of life. However, I have got two. Um, she had this as one of the one of the fabrics that could possibly back my piece or we've got this one which I think this is probably what I'm gonna go with look how pretty that is Isn't that pretty so I think I think these two would go together nicely for a pillow so that's my um, whoops that's my choice for what I'm going to use for my backing fabric that kind of kind of reminds me you know a little bit of a basket weave so I think I'm going to use that and the other thing that occurred to me is my pencil tree is sitting in my garage and I haven't done one new um, Christmas ornament so I think I'm just gonna hold on to these fabrics for finishing Christmas ornaments and I need to I need to get going on doing those those ornaments for that tree so anyway one last look this um, this was a kit I just did everything that was in the kit and yeah I think it looks great so that's my first finished object hoping to turn that into um, a fully finished object FFO probably in the next week or so so that's where we are on that one then the next thing that um, that I finished up is from the Stitching Book Club. I finally, I'm a little late, um, I finally finished, and is that the right way? No, this way. I finally finished the Christmas Carol Sal based on, of course, Christmas Carol by Dickens, right? So I've got that finished and I am really happy now I made I made a personalization here um, the the letter the the wording is supposed to be stitched in one of the gold colors and I just really I spotted somebody on Instagram that had stitched the words in the the lovely DMC 321 I think of that as Christmas red and that looked so good to me that I just I just copied along so that is my second fully finished object and what is really really nice is um, Jennifer who is stitching with the waves stitching in the waves Ooh. I'll link her floss tube down below in the show notes she posted on Instagram that she had an ex she had some extras of the finishing fabric that is on the chart and if anybody wanted a piece just comment and she would send it to to you so now that you know that was quite a while ago it's completely gone don't 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 contact her because she doesn't have any more so anyway I am thrilled I've got the finishing fabric now for this guy and I am pretty sure what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to go get um, probably probably an 8 by 8 square frame. I'm going to, you know, mount this behind it and then, of course, put this guy on top of it. So I have got two things that I've got pretty much everything I need to fully finish those so I am on I am on the the doorstep of a couple more FFOs here in the next couple of weeks which is super cool 
So that is my second FFO. No, <laughs> there's too many Fs in there. That was my second FO, finished object. <laughs> All right, and then I was watching TV the other night and it was right after I had finished the Christmas Carol sale. And I thought, oh, I've got a little bit of time, um, probably about an hour or so. What should I stitch on now? And I went digging through my bookcase behind me, you know, ah, way back there, where all of my whips are. And I thought, what haven't I touched in a long, long time? I need to break out something that's probably a smaller project. I don't want to break out one of my great big huge ones. I just want something small, something I can stitch in hand while, while I've got an hour before bedtime, right? It occurred to me, I have not stitched on the Snow Flower Diary series in forever. And I thought, I know I've got something that I'm working on and I don't know how far I am. I wonder if I can, you know, make some good progress on that guy. And I did. Now, I didn't finish it in one night, but I did in two. So I finished April. Isn't that, isn't that sweet? And I did do, I did do some personalization here. Um, these flowers under the squirrel, they're supposed to be white with yellow centers. And there's the rabbit, there's a lot of white on here already with the rabbit. So I just reversed them. I just thought that would, that would look super cute and it would bring a little more, a little more of that yellow into the design. So I just swapped them. And if you're not familiar with um, these, the Snowflower Diaries, um, they're free. There's 12 patterns and it's, if you just Google Snowflower Diaries, you'll find it and they're, they're free. I think the gal, I can't remember. I don't think she's Russian. Is she Hungarian? Something. Anyway, she's over, you know, she's over in Europe and she just, you know, created these amazing charts and just lovingly, you know, posted it on her blog and you can download them and stitch them. There's 12 of them. I have done two. My husband and I laughed last night. I said, you know, it's like we're doing one a quarter. <laughs> but April is done and I think I'm gonna start February. Why not, right? So that, guys, is my third finished object. And I was shocked when I picked this up. I just had, I just had to finish off the squirrel put in the little yellow flowers and put in April. I had so little stitching left left to do. I totally needed to get going on that. So I'm very excited that that's finished as well. So that is three finished objects and a fully finished object. What do you think? Pretty good, right? Good for me. I am the slowest stitcher on the planet. We've talked about this, but that's okay. I, I just I just enjoy stitching. It doesn't matter how long it takes me. I just enjoy it. Now, I've got three finishes, right? Which means I I I had to have a start. I started I started good company. And I contacted Annie, who is the joy filled stitcher, and asked her if she would like to sell this with me. Annie said she would. So we were supposed to start this on the Martin Luther King weekend. And I, you guys, I'm not sure if I haven't showed you this already, but if I have, just forgive me. But this is the, this is the chart. It's a, uh, it's a Plum Street. Yep. It's a Plum Street. And let me show you where I got to. So I have, I have the roof 
of the building done. I've got one of the one of the beautiful, I think of them as sunflowers. I've got the beautiful sunflower, few leaves, and I'm just working on the body of the building. In fact, last night I I worked on that. And this came as a kit, so all the fabric, all the floss were in there. Um, I am the worst. I always forget to tell you what it, what I'm stitching it on, but this is a 36 count vintage country mocha. So I'm doing one over two, which I'm enjoying doing. It's really fun. I just stitched that last night and I was happy as a clam watching watching my silly shows on Netflix but that's my start so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to slot that into whip my whip go board because I had my whip go board here a minute ago anyway one of the one of the um, items that I had put on my whip go board was a finish on Christmas Carol Sal. So I think I'll, I'll pull that out and I'll probably put good company in its place. So that will, that will get more, more stitching time this year. Not like it's going, you know, it's not like I'm going to put it on the bookshelf and never see it again for the whole year. I am totally going to keep working on that. I love Plum Street items and that's really cool all right so beyond those those things what else did i stitch on because like i said i haven't seen you guys for two weeks um i cannot remember for sure i think i might have shown you this already but we're gonna see it again i got really close to finishing up the um they call it scene number one in the harbor haven 12 part uh sal so i i think i showed you this but let's let's look at it again because it's so pretty so i just have to finish around that tulip and there's a little over here and then I will have finished scene number one. I, I got a good, good, solid chunk of time a couple of weeks ago to work on this. I, I got the, the fence in, I got those, those bushes in, I got all of this, and I got the tulip done. Pretty good, right? Isn't that pretty? I love this. Now this is on, this is on a 30, to count weeks linen in the color sea foam and this is showing up the closer i get to the camera the more blue it picks up there's a little more green in it this is about true to color when i'm looking at my camera it's really pretty this is the old weeks i wish it was the new weeks because it's kind of floppy but it's fine it's fine it will be just fine so that was one of the things that I stitched on and I also stitched on, of course, I stitched on Cinnamon Stars. So let me show you where I'm at on the, the lovely Cinnamon Stars. Okay. I was able to finish the whole fence, which I think I had told you was one of my goals, get get the fence done. I got the fence done. And I got a few more, um, a few more of the stocks done. So last time we were together, I know that I had, eh, I'm gonna fumble, sorry. I know I had all of all of all of this was done and I still need to put in the head of the sunflowers here but that was all done and then I had I had about a third of the fence left to go so I got the fence all the way to the edge and then I started putting in the stalks for the coin the corn excuse me and that is looking pretty good. And then, of course, I've got a gabillion stars to, <laughs> to stitch. But that's okay. I'm here for it. 
I am here for all the stars, right? And somebody had just posted on one of the Facebook groups that, um, stitching Facebook groups, and I can't remember if it was Stitch Mania, can't remember which one it was, but somebody just had a finish last week on it, and I was like, oh, I so need to hurry up and finish. But this is on my Whipgo board, so, and I think it's on there twice, because I just, you know, I just completed the five days I said I would do, I did it and I, like I said I think I've got it on there a second time which is perfect because I want lots of progress I, I want an F O actually I want an FFO on this one by October so yeah or August or September <laughs> it is, I, I want it I want it up I want it framed I want it on the wall by the time fall is here so that's one that's my goal for cinnamon stars for this year is I I desperately want to finish on this guy so we'll we'll keep working at it and then excuse me then another thing that I haven't touched in quite a while I decided to pull out on you know, Ugh, I got the hiccups on inauguration day because it's a very patriotic sampler by Teresa Kogut, Land That I Love. I figured this was a very good choice for a very patriotic day. So let me show you where I am on this one. Now this probably does not look like much, but I stitched... I stitched for two days on this one and I'm working on the border. And this is on um, a 36 count Edinburgh linen in the color Raw Natural. Now, when I picked this guy up, I think I was up here on this border. I know I had that, that red flower in, so I got all the way down here and I put in the stems and now I need to put in the red flowers and then I'm going to start going across and filling in the alphabet across the top. I had a lot of fun. I don't know why. I think because it's a pattern and so it repeats, you know, 14 stitches here, 16 stitches there, stair step, stair step, stair step. It's very easy to get in a rhythm, get in a pattern and I just, I just had a great time. And then, of course, the other thing that made it a little bit easier was I was only working with three colors. I wasn't switching floss colors back and forth all over the place. Some of those, some of my patterns, you know, you do a little bit and then, you know, switch colors and do a little bit and switch colors and do a little bit and switch more colors. And that slows down the stitching. And I'm a slow stitcher to begin with. So sometimes those things, you know, bog me down for lack of a better way of phrasing that but no bogging down here on land that I love pretty cool right the only thing I'm trying to figure out I am not in love with the a stitched in that color I think it's been bugging me since I put it in you know, that's the lighter color and I think, I think that's called dolphin. I think that's dolphin. I'm not a big fan. I like that darker color here, which I think is called blue corn. And I think I'm going to switch it. That's what I think. Or the other thing is I might just stitch it in red because the chart is very clever. It has um, the U, the S, and the A in the alternate color, which is very, very clever. But I was thinking of maybe only doing my initials in the alternate color. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm pretty sure that A is going to come out. Pretty sure. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? 
give me a comment. I'd, I'd love to know. I'd love to get the, get the hive mind going. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you would do. Like I say, I think the USA is a very, very super clever. However, maybe my initials would be clever too, right? So that's where I got on that guy. I'm also doing this um, in all the called for floss, you know, DMC and fancy. So anyway, there, there's another thing that I stitched on and, tr and I'm looking down, I'm looking down at my calendar and Good Company, Cozy Into Winter, Cinnamon Stars, Land That I Love, Christmas Carol, and Snowflower Diaries. Yep, that's what I stitched on over the last two weeks. So I have I have gotten some fairly good progress in on quite a number of whips. I am happy about that. Now, my birthday is in February. So one of the things that I'm going to do, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to do in February is I am going to give myself a birthday start. And I did mention this a couple of videos back, might have been just one video back, but I have a beautiful, beautiful owl forest embroidery kit my husband gave me for Christmas. And I'm just trying to see if I can grab it. Yep, I can. So I am going to start, I am going to start this guy for my birthday start. If you have an owl forest kit that you're, that you're dying to start, maybe you have the same one, maybe you have one you're already working on and you just need some motivation to get into your owl forest embroidery stitch, join me for Robin's birthday sal and I'm gonna stitch owl I'm gonna start stitching on owl forest I think I should I'm pretty sure I showed you the kit before look at those fantastic colors love it and there is our linen kind of a navy blue and that's pretty that's pretty good the camera's picking that up that's pretty pretty much what it looks like so I I would just love it if you guys would join me. I think that would be a lot of fun. So, like I said, my birthday's in February. I'm gonna have a birthday start. My birthday is right smack dab in the middle of the month. My birthday is the 15th. So on February 15th, I am starting my Owl Forest. Feel free to join me. Leave me a message um, in the comments. Tell me if, if you're gonna join me. I, uh, I haven't checked on Instagram yet to make sure the hashtag is available, but I'm thinking, you know, Robin's birthday sal, I'll check to see if it's open. If it is, that's what we'll use. And I'd, I'd love to stitch Owl Forest with you guys. And they have a number of free patterns on their, on their website. So if you don't have a kit and you've always wanted to stitch Owl Forest, head over to their website. They have, I don't know, six, maybe seven free things on their on their site and they're all fantastic. So, join me for a birthday sal. I'd love I'd love to I'd love to stitch with all of you. Okay, so there is that. Um I know that you saw me um well, I don't I don't know, but um I did film an unboxing from um Black Needle Society the date with your stitching box, the January box. And I was very honored, very honored. Michelle Bindi Stitchy sent me a message and said, hey, would you like to sell the pattern that came in the kit, a waffle lot? Me, she picked me, I was thrilled. I'm like, absolutely. So we are going to start this on February 2nd. Now, I need to get myself some white linen. I don't hardly ever stitch on white, white, white. Although, you know, I just, I say that and yet I've got all the white fabric from the Christmas Carol Sal. This is stitched on a 28 count, no, a 32 count um, antique white Belfast linen. 
the Christmas Carol is on, I think it's 27 count white Linda. So if I use that, it will be a little bit bigger. I'm thinking I might, I might go nuts and order a 32 count Belfast. So it's not quite so ginormous. It probably won't make that much difference. But anyway, if you happen to have picked up the box and you've got a waffle lot pattern, Feel free to join Michelle and I on February 2nd for a Waffle Lot stitching. We're going to do a sound together. We have not picked the hashtag. I'll let you know when we do. So, Michelle, if you're watching, thank you for reaching out to me. I was I was super excited to to be asked and very honored. You have you have lots of amazing friends. So, to think that I kind of rose to the top a little bit. That, that was really fun. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That is, um, that's kind of my plans. I think for the rest of February, I've got a couple of things I want to, I want to do with my last few days because today's the 26th. So we still, have, you know, we still have quite a bit of time. I'm definitely going to break out Cardinal Points because its birthday is the 29th. I started it on leap day last year, so I'm going to work on cardinal points. I'm going to pull up the Snowflower Diary February pattern. I want to get some, I want to get a start on that. Ooh, another start. And then I'm going to go through and look in my um, kitted up collection. I have some started Christmas ornaments, so I'm going to see where I'm at in that and I'm going to I'm going to bring back one of those ornaments so I can get I can get a little further along on stitching Christmas ornaments. So those are kind of my plans. And then of course, I have some FFOing to do. I always hate to declare that on on camera because then I never get to it, but I'm I was so jazzed to finish Fresh Pip picked pumpkins, easy for me to say, that I'd kind of like to keep that keep that wagon going. So we'll see. And let's see, what else? Haul. You guys, I have an embarrassing amount of haul to show you. Are you here for it? Do you need a potty break? <laughs> Hit stop. I'm gonna grab my bag. I'm gonna grab my beverage and let's Let's see what's in my bag. All right. I am not kidding. This is insane. <laughs> my husband has declared when things come in the mail, what he, he gave it an acronym. <laughs> Yet another cross stitch purchase. I don't know. <laughs> He, he, he came up he came up with with something hysterical a couple of days ago when yet another thing showed up in the mail all right I have got all my purchases in in my acorns and threads bag oh my gosh you guys um yeah this includes my trip to acorns and threads oh my goodness yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be insane I will try not to linger I will try to sh hold it up enable you to make a purchase and then we can move on one of the things I did buy though was yet another Bitsy Bob by That So Kelly Cole. This was so sweet. I I couldn't leave it behind. I I have a problem. I have a Bitsy Bob problem. There is <laughs> there's no two ways about it. I love these things. All right. So, I bought myself a new Bitsy Bob. Ah, the other thing that came was I had, um, as you know, I'm a, I'm a VIP for the Black Needle Society, and I purchased their Frogwarts Year Two box, which I believe is still available on their website. Because I missed out on Year One, and many people did, I was able to buy the Year One pattern because they're going to have a pattern in all of their Frogwarts boxes. So. I got the pattern, and then what you can't see down in the corner is I purchased one of their needle minders. Can you see that? It's a frog. 
I love it. I'm here for it. That is fantastic. So, Frogwarts pattern, needle minder. Then, oh man, this is so pretty. I got my fabric of the month from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. And this is, I'm in her neutral club. And this one is called Honey. And that does not show on the camera all that well. But just know it is a beautiful neutral. It's actually more the color of my acorns and threads bag it's all it's it's just a tick lighter but so my fabric of the month showed up yay all right so there is that the the next thing that showed up is my um color and cotton i am in there thread club and I'm not going to pull them out but just just look at those I'm I'm feeling like I need to start subbing these in because I've been in the I think I said fabric the floss of the month club um I need to start subbing these into some projects look at how pretty those are yeah so those showed up so pretty so pretty okay so that there's that and then I I I I also am enabled by others floss tubes and I went crazy and I I succumbed I succumbed I purchased the caterpillar cross stitch made to create kit fabric floss and I added on the needle minder. Mm -hmm. And that I believe, is it starting today or it might've been yesterday? It might've been yesterday. I think it started yesterday. I haven't even broken into it, but I'm here for it, right? I am, I am excited to give this a whirl. This will be my first time doing Caterpillar cross stitch. And they have some adorable patterns and made to create, create kind of, it spoke to me. So I'm giving that a whirl. All right. Then the other thing that came, um, my LNS Acorns and Threads is having their acorn gathering this Sunday. This is the kit I have. I have, you know, broken the seal. I'll show you what all came in here next floss too. Because if there are people that don't want to see what's in here, I don't want to spoil the surprise. So I'm just going to hold on to this and I'll show you next, next uh, floss too, okay? So acorns and thread gathering kit. Yay! Okay. Now, this, you guys, I was completely enabled by the lovely Audrey Stitchy Wish 42. She showed a stitching journal. And this is by Chris or Christine Yu. And it is as the U flies. I will link her below. And I just thought this was brilliant. This is this is a journal and came with a pen. But what I love about this is she has, she has set this up so that you can pull these off of the, um, off of the elastic and you can put new inserts in it every single year. I love that. So one of the journals that came in here is a project journal. And so you can keep notes on, you know, what the pattern is, who the designer is, what your fabric is, what your floss is, and then you can just make notes. If you want to keep track of what days you stitched on it, you've got room to do that in here. I think this is brilliant. Brilliant. I love paper and pencil. I have 
uh, Google Docs that I keep track of things in. But I just love the idea of a paper journal that does what my Google Docs does. So, um, so that's the first journal that's in there. And then the second journal that it comes with is, you know, make it whatever you want it to be. Notes, keep an inventory of your stuff, whatever you like. It just kind of is a free form journal. This is brilliant. I will link Chris's, is it Chris or Christine? I'm sorry, I will, I will fix that in the notes. Let me just look. Chris, yeah, it's Chris. And her, again, her, um, her shop is as the U Y O O flies on Etsy. You see that? Yeah, she's, she was lovely. We had, a, we had a cute little, um, you know, two message exchange, but I am thrilled that I have my journal. I have not started writing in it yet, but I am going to be doing that quite soon and she left me a cute little note that she likes my floss tube thank you Chris thank you for watching I appreciate that and let me tell you her packaging is fantastic so it came all packaged she's got handmade labels look at that as the U flies and it was wrapped up in a pattern you know a paper pattern, you know, a Butterick McCall's pattern. Fabulous. Of course, being the animal that I am, I just tore into it. <laughs> I was, and then I tried to put it back together to show you how, how cute it was packaged. And I'm like, oh, oh well. But this journal, this, this is my style. I love this. Okay. Now the last things that are in here are from my trips to acorns and threads a couple of weeks ago so i picked up um of course i picked up some patterns i picked up some fabric and i picked up some floss hmm, go figure oh and i picked up some lady dot trim all right i knew that um there was a quirky quaker sal that was going to start on about the um 16th 15th or 16th of January so I picked I saw that uh, acorns and threads had some of their patterns so I picked up the first two the puffin and the hedgehog I have not had a chance to start but I got some patterns so and then these are um, you know fairly small if you've seen um, I think Michelle Bendy stitchy Aaron to martini Annie Joyful Stitcher. I know there are others that are doing it, but those three I saw recently working on those. These are super cute. I figure I can use whatever um, small piece of fabric I have in my stash. So I did not buy fabric to work on those. Um, what I what I bought also beyond that was Plum Street's Raccoon Rabble. I thought that was adorable. So Raccoon Rabble came home with me. I also picked up two Jeanette Douglas. I picked up um, the Companions to Cozy Into Winter. So I picked up Fall Into Autumn. This is the next one I'm gonna stitch. And I also picked up, what is this one called? Jump Into Spring, which I think is adorable. Look at those, look at those violets. Ugh. Beautiful. So I picked up those. Now I decided that I wanted to um, fully kit fall into autumn so I didn't have to worry about it. So I did pick up a 32 count vintage country mocha, which is one of my favorite um, fabrics. And then I picked up all of the floss that Jeanette calls for in fall into, what is it? Fall into autumn. <laughs> so I've got all all the flosses, all the flosses. You know, probably don't need to see all this, but I've got all the flosses. So this guy is is kitted and ready for a start when I feel I need a start. And 
Then the other thing that I picked up was the latest uh, Blackbird Books, Wings of Autumn. Many, many people have shown this. This was the reason why. I want to stitch this birds holding martinis. I'm here for it. Birds and martinis. <laughs> I just think that's a total riot. Total, total riot. And then the last thing I picked up is I picked up a variegated sulky. Can you see those? Blues and greens are my jam. I love, I love, I love this color combination. And what I'm thinking of on this is I picked up the fabric for the Zimmerman coverlet. And I told you that I want to do like a table runner. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do it in this so that's my that's that's my thought process for those sulkies all right thank heavens that is the end of my haul I I, I don't think I don't think I could take it if there was more haul that's just an excessive amount but I have plans for all of it I am I am ready to go I am trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to point out to you guys. I don't think so. I think that's it. That is a an, ex, an incredibly long floss tube. I thank you if you're still here at the end for sticking with me. I appreciate you being here. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're stitching on. Let me know what you think about switching out the uh, color of the letters in the land that I love sampler. What do you think? You think that's a good idea? I think I might do it. All right. I have got tons of stitching ahead of me. I hope you have tons of great stitching ahead of you. I'll see you in a week, I hope. Yep. Can't make any promises these days, but that's okay. We just do what we can, right? Do what we can. Move forward. All right, you guys, I want you to stitch happy. I want you to have a great week and I will see you when I see you. Okay, bye guys.